Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today I want to talk about one of Joe Rogan's latest uh, podcasts. Uh, had kind of been waiting around for Joe Rogan to uh, have uh, Andrew Yang on the television show, who is the uh, presidential candidate uh, running on the platform of Universal Basic Income. And many of you all who watch the channel probably know that um, um, it is a um, project of mine that I'm dealing a lot with Universal Basic Income over the blockchain. Um, and uh, it's an experimental project. We want to see how that works out where we implement um, using blockchain technology uh, certain portions of our projects um, resources over to Universal Basic Income Program. So uh, it has led me to do more research into Universal Basic Income. So interesting enough, um, Brian Cox uh, has been featured on his show lately. And uh, Dr. Brian Cox, he's a uh, one of these very fun theoretical physicists, kind of reminds you of the Michio Kaku's type um, physicist and talks a lot about one of my favorite areas, uh, uh, black holes, right? Um, uh, and uh, uh, him and Joe Rogan, they get on the conversation of artificial intelligence and uh, during this interview. And, um, uh, it, you know, Joe Rogan still kind of, shell shot from uh, ha having Elon Musk on the show and uh, Elon Musk always bringing up the uh, dangers of artificial intelligence that are very valid. When you think about uh, a super robotics program, um, you know, it's probably not, wouldn't be possible for us to probably control such a thing at some point in time. But what I found interesting about this, um, interview is that Brian Cox was talking about he had chaired an event, I believe it was for the Royal Scientific Academy or something like that over in, in England where it's from. And uh, it was talking about these artificial, this artificial intelligence uh, replacing people and work and, and that that was his biggest fear, that that was a more realistic fear than Maybe the maybe the fears that Elon Musk was talking about, where we kind of have like these Terminator type scenarios, uh, you know, where the uh, where the robots just decide to destroy all humans or something like that. Um, but Brian Cox brings up a very uh, a, 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 a very great point about uh, how it probably would just be this economic destruction and um, in this this huge job displacement. But also he goes on, they go on to talk about some ways that they could possibly fix that. And uh, he, he brought up something interesting that I once thought about, but I didn't really think about a whole lot, but it did come across my mind. And that would be something like taxing robots as people, right? So, you know, if the robots uh, replace the, the attorneys and because the, you know, one idea has always been just the idea of the, the robot that does factory work. And uh, this robot does its factory work and, um, you know, and so it's this very monotonous, you know, work that humans, um, you know, any, you know, anything could do. But now it's, it's moved on much further to that than uh, replacing people who've had to go to school for eight years and, and pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to be an attorney. Now you got a, a robot that's probably a much better attorney, right? Or, or probably could be programmed to to be a much better attorney, perhaps. Um, and so what would happen to all these various jobs being displaced? So I just found it so interesting. Uh, Professor Brian Cox mentioned that it would be uh, you could tax these robots and you tax them as a human being. And then a lot of the uh, economic value they create, some of that goes back to fund maybe some of these programs to take care of now these people out of work since these robots would now be pretty much have usurped all of the value and, and wealth from the economy. Right. And so now they'll be able to kind of distribute that back to these displaced workers, whether it be through some kind of tax. And of course that tax would probably be against the corporations, unless there is something like, um, uh, um, well, it'd be against a robot unless they have some kind of situation like what we saw happen with, 
the Sophia robot who was given the Saudi Arabian citizenship, which means that that robot could go to Saudi Arabia and you can't work that robot. You can't be in control of that robot because it would have citizenship rights. And so it would be off limits for you to treat it, <laughs> you know, which is an interesting concept. So would then it be some kind of strange future where these robots would become um, uh, like citizens and they're taxed just like people. Maybe they're taxed at a higher level and then maybe the robots would revolt and say we should be taxed just like everybody else. So very weird and at the same time, interesting concepts. But I just thought it was interesting. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Very fun uh, video uh, uh, interview as well. Uh, very interesting idea, especially if you like science and physics and things like that. It, you'll probably really enjoy this one. But I just thought it was interesting. I want to comment on it. But guys, uh, that's all I want to say. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe. And until next time, take care.